All right, so we will start with text embedding using pure Python. I'm using a Jupyter Workbench on my GCP account on Vertex AI, but you can do this in your local system as well, as long as you have Jupyter Notebook installed. It's not too heavy. First, you must install Fox CPU using a pip install, which will install the Fox vector database. And then you must install sentence transformers, which provides an easy way to generate sentence embeddings. So go ahead, install both these libraries. And next, we start by creating a simple data frame in Pandas, which will have two columns. The first column is called text, which will contain simple sentences in English, which we will vectorize and create embeddings out of. And the second one is category, which is just a label that classifies each of these sentences. So for instance, a sentence like, what's the weather like today is more of a general question, right? And something like, can you provide the latest stock market updates is related to finance. So the same logic goes for the rest of the sentences in the data frame. So let's run this and do a df.head. So you can see we have the data frame ready. Next, we import sentence transformer from the sentence transformer library. And we create a variable called text by only selecting the text column from our data frame. The next line initializes a sentence transformer model using paraphrase mpnet base v2 model, which is a pre-trained model. And it's optimized for generating semantically meaningful sentence embeddings. Now there's other models as well, such as bird base NLI that you can check out. So once that's done, finally we encode our text using the encode method and store the embeddings in a variable called embeddings. All right, so the embeddings have been created. Let's print this out and you can see the output, which is nothing but an array, which has the embeddings of the text data from the data frame. And these are high dimensional vectors represented as floating point numbers. Now you can also see the shape of your embeddings by doing an embeddings.shape. And you will see that the number 10 is the number of sentences that we have in our data frame for which we have created these embeddings, right? And 768 represents the dimensionality of the embeddings generated by the model. This means each sentence from your data set is transformed into a vector of 768 numerical values. Now these 768 dimensions capture various semantic features of the sentence enabling the model to represent the sentence's meaning in a more numerical form. Next, we import Fives library and we store the dimension into a variable called vector dimension. Now this vector dimension will have a value of 768. And the next three lines are quite important. First, we create a Fives index for similarity search. And index flat two is a type of index that uses L2 distance or Euclidean distance for comparing the vectors. It's called flat because uh, it uses brute force comparison of the query vector with all the vectors in the index. Now query vector means the input that we will feed to the model for searching later on. The function normalize underscore L2 normalizes the vectors to have a unit length. Now normalization is often crucial for similarity search especially when L using uh, L2 distances, as it ensures that the search is based on the angle between the vectors rather than their magnitudes. And finally, we add these embeddings to the index. In other words, we're storing the embeddings into our vector database. All right, so we've done two things so far. First, we create embeddings. We've created embeddings of the sentences. And second, we stored them into a files vector database. So now that we have done that, it's time to test it. So we come up with another sentence like, I have a headache. And now you want to see which of the sentences above are similar to this sentence. All right. Semantically speaking. So first, what you must do is convert this sentence into a vector form, exactly like what we've done above. So you encode it using the encode method, and then you normalize it. Let's run this. Now that we have vectorized our search query, which is, I have a headache. Now it's time to search the index to find out which sentences from the data frame are similar to the search query. So we do an index dot search on the new vector, which is defined above. And K is equal to four, basically means that we are looking for four closest vectors. We then create a data frame out of the search result or the resulting uh, values which will have 
two columns distances and ann now distances is the euclidean distance of the four closest vectors from our search result and ann is the approximate nearest neighbors which contains the indices of these vectors finally we merge this data frame with our original data frame created above so let's do this now let's print out the merged data frame okay so first of all you must note that the smaller the value of the distance comparatively speaking the closer is this vector or the sentence to our search result in this case what are the symptoms of a flu is the closest to i have a headache which makes a lot of sense because semantically they're similar right next is i'm feeling happy so on and so forth let's try another search query now so let me change this to let's say that was funny all right there you go so the closest sentence to the sentence that was funny is tell me a joke which is what we would expect too so that was that for this demo i hope it was quite straightforward Next up, we'll see how to create embeddings out of images and search for similar images using vector embeddings.